orientation, we'll go over the Polycom VVX 500 and 600 touchscreen phones. Background on your phone. The Polycom VVX 600 is a touch display gesture swipe phone with up to 16 line appearances. The entire center of the phone is a touchable color screen. Your Polycom VVX 500 is a touchable gesture swipe phone with 12 line appearances and an all color center touchable screen. Getting to know your Polycom VVX 500 or 600 phone. Both phones features and functionality are the same. Starting in the upper right hand corner, you have the message waiting indicator light. Then you have your home view key. In the lower right hand corner, you'll find your headset, speakerphone, and microphone mute buttons. And directly under your dial pad, you'll find your volume key. Your line appearances or extension buttons will start in the upper left hand corner of your touchable screen. And any icons to access settings or features or functions during a call will be located on the touchable screen or on the long black row of touchable keys on the screen's phone that pop up while you're on a call. Multi-function keys for line keys. These are going to be anything from your own phone line to somebody else's extension that you choose to monitor. Looking at your own phone line, you'll see your extension number, and anybody else that you choose to have monitored on your phone, you'll see their extension number pile up underneath that. In the stackable extension buttons, if you look down at somebody's extension and see a red line, that shows presence that they are on the phone. The Polycom BVX 600 has 16 lines, and the Polycom BVX 500 has 12 lines. Anything outside of those 12 or 16 lines that you are not using can be used for speed dials, and that's what this call, phone call goes over, and that is called a favorite. A favorite is a press key that you can use to put on the front screen of your phone to touch and call somebody at any time. They can be changed at any time, and constantly updated. Some common line key status icons you'll see depending on which phone mode you are in at the time. Active call view is a green screen on your phone that shows the caller ID information of who you're on the phone with. You'll see the name and the person and their extension number or their outside number. On the bottom of that screen, you'll see a long row of black touchable keys that you could do different things while you're on a phone call. In the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a running time of how long you've been on that call in minutes and seconds. And then in the upper left-hand corner, you will see which line you're speaking on. Setting up favorites press keys. You can either do this by making a contact a favorite. You can go into the directory of your phone and add a contact or go into your call history and tap the eye next to a call record. That also puts you in a place to create a favorite, which will put a favorite speed dial on the front of your phone. Display control key is a manual clock key located in the upper left-hand corner of your phone next to your envelope key above your extension. This key allows you to view your call history, view your favorites, with different sorting options, and it also allows you to access any of your directories on your phone. You can touch and call them back or touch and scroll through them just like you would on a smartphone. The communication keys of the phone are the headset, speakerphone, and microphone mute buttons. The headset and speakerphones will light up bright green, and the mute will light up red. If you use your headset as a primary source of audio, you can enable the headset mode in your phone by going to the settings. The volume key on the phone is located underneath the dial pad and that controls the volume for the entire phone. There's no need to go up into your touchable screen to change volume for anything. You will use the same plus and minus key. Adjust your volume going plus for louder or minus for softer and this will save the last setting you are on. So for example, if you're on a speakerphone call and you make that call very loud, the next time you're on a speakerphone call, It'll be very loud again, and then you can just adjust accordingly. The home view key is located on the right side of the phone. It's a round key with a house on it. 
That key lets you get back to the home screen at any time and also lets you toggle between the main screens of your phone. Even while you're on a phone call, it will not disconnect your call. Touch keys for call functions are going to be the touchable long row black keys that pop up on your phone while you're on a call. Those include hold and call, transfer, conference, and the last button will say more. When you press more, this will page you over to other features such as call parking and shortcuts for transferring. On hook soft keys are going to be keys or icons that are on your phone when you're not on a call to do different features. And this one will include new call. Anytime you see new call on the phone and you touch that button, you'll get a dial tone. Placing and answering calls. To place a call, you just simply use your handset, speakerphone, or headset to get a dial tone and type your phone number out. You can also touch your line extension key or your new call icon to get a dial tone and dial a phone number out. To answer a call, you can pick up your handset, press the speaker phone button, use your headset, or tap answer on the screen of your phone. You will have an incoming call screen that will give you an option to answer or reject. Answering while answering the call, touching reject will send the call straight to voicemail. The middle of your screen will show you all the incoming caller ID information. The bottom right hand corner is going to give you an example of what your phone will look like when you have more than one call on it. Your green call is always your active call. Any other calls you have on your phone will show that they're on hold. It will also give you the caller ID information of every call. It will tell you which line each call is waiting on and also in minutes and seconds how long each call has been at which point you can go to the bottom, put your calls on hold, go back and forth or transfer or conference them together. So for transferring, you have three different types of transfers. There's consultative transfer, line transfer, and transferring directly to voicemail. Consultative transfer is transferring a call, but you're announcing that call before you send it through. Line transfer is transferring a call using the blind feature that will send the call straight to that person's extension and share that caller ID information with them. And then transferring a call directly to voicemail will send a call straight to somebody's voicemail box without ringing or disturbing them. The different types of transfers will be located on your cheat sheet for further review. As well as any point you're in a transfer mode and you see a cancel key, it will pop up on the screen of your phone where you can touch cancel to cancel out of a transfer at any time and that basically will just stop your transfer. To initiate a conference call, during an active call, you're going to touch your conference button. Enter the phone number or the extension of the person you'd like to conference in. When that third party answers, you can press conference one more time and that will put all three calls together. Conference calls are a three-party conference call, including yourself, at which point you can always cancel a conference call. You press cancel on the screen of your phone that will cancel a conference call and put you back into the first call that you were originally on. If you split a conference call, that will split both calls on your phone. One will automatically be put on hold and one will be green and active. They are no longer in a conference and to conference them back together, press conference at any time. Parking calls. Parking a call is putting a call on hold within the network so somebody can go to any phone and retrieve that call. This way that phone call isn't stuck on hold on your phone and you no longer have to release it directly from your extension. To park a call, on an active call you use your soft keys, press more and then park. Soft keys are located in the long black row of keys that are touchable on the main screen. After pressing park, you enter a valid extension number and then press enter. You will hear a message, your call has been parked, thank you. Let another user know which extension you parked the call on. That user can answer a parked call. On the soft keys of the phone, they press more and then they touch park retrieve. After touching park retrieve, you enter the extension number that that call is parked on and then touch enter. Once you touch enter, it will connect you to that park call. If someone does not answer a call, 
in the presented amount of time, it, the parked call will ring back to the person that parked the call originally. Voice messaging key is located in the upper left-hand corner. Indications that you have a voicemail message are in the upper right-hand corner. Your voice message meeting indicator light will blink red. On the envelope of your screen, you will see a small red number that gives you a number of how many new voicemails you have, as well as over the icon. To access your voicemail, you can touch your envelope key or touch your messages icon on your screen. That will dial you directly into your voicemail system, where it's going to ask you to enter your PIN number. Everybody's PIN number by default, when you first have the system, is going to be 1111 followed by a pound sign. The system will walk you through how to briefly change that four-digit PIN to something different if needed, and then we'll also walk you through into how to set up your voicemail box and record your name announcement and your voicemail greeting. Once you've done that, you have set up your voicemail, and then you just need to go in occasionally if you'd like to change it. The basics of checking voicemail are options one, two, and three. That will replay, save, and delete a voicemail message. You can also forward or apply to a message sender and replay a message's date or time. Pressing 9 will bring you back into your user options where you can re-record your voicemail greeting or your name announcement at any time. An extension of the voicemail service that you will be receiving is called Unified Messaging. A few seconds after somebody leaves a voicemail in your inbox, you'll receive a copy of that voicemail message via email in a WAV file format. You can then click on that file, listen to it on the speaker of your computers, forward the entire email to somebody else, or just archive it in your inbox. You will have two places to manage your voicemail, so please, if you listen to them on your computer, delete them out of your voicemail on your phone to make sure you have enough room for new incoming voicemails. Feature access codes are star codes on the system. They allow you to do different features by dialing star with a specific number to access that feature. Examples of feature access codes, star 99 to clear your voicemail message waiting indicator light, star 72 for call forwarding always, and star 73 to turn off call forwarding always. Hoteling into a phone means you can sign in to another phone at another location of your business. Once you sign into that phone with your user ID and password, the phone will flash and restart and become your phone. At that point, any calls that would normally ring at your phone at your regular desk, this phone will act the same way. So it's you signing into your phone at another location to work for a specific amount of time. <laughs> if you have any questions on the phone's voicemail or basic features of your service, email training at broadsmart.com and any technical issues should be directed to tech at broadsmart.com.